Hey. Oh, afternoon, evening. Feels more like night. It's only a little after 6 p.m. Eastern. <laughs> you know, we started going to my faith the other day. And I, I'll be honest with you, I am beyond the half we passed out of my league. So, first off, if somebody finds a up somewhere, I expect and hope somebody's going to chime in. But, that being said, you know, without faith, we have nothing. And I've thought about this all weekend and uh, I won't, I haven't looked it up yet. I was going to, you know, as little kids we have faith. We really do. I mean, I can remember as a little kid I had faith somewhere the way around the collar. And Jesus said, if you have faith of a mustard seed, you can tell that mom to get up and jump in the ocean and it's going to do it. Now, the mustard seed is the smallest seed on the planet, to my knowledge. I only really know one person had any kind of faith that he, and ironically, she was our Sunday school teacher when I was a kid. I'd love to have her faith. Honestly, I'd love to have her faith. Her car gets stolen, boom, replaced for free. Somebody breaks into her apartment, steals her TV, she's an offer, I forgot how many. And she turned every one of them down, she didn't want to replace them. She had faith on everything. When I had cancer, the only kept me going was faith. When Lori had cancer, I, I went off the deep end. And yet inside I knew faith was going to carry her. When Cody got burned, and I, and I mean Cody was burned 90% of his body to the point his nurse looked up the sheet. Yeah. But you know what Lori said? And this is a girl who had a war with God for years and years and years. She said he's going to be all right. I've got faith. The guy's got Minmon, Minmon covered. So I, I mean, he's been on the hospital a year this month. He was supposed to go back. Yeah. January, February, he could put on a heart, heart transplant plan list. He was sick, but I guess then I believe it might have been just a little cold or something like that. I mean, there's a, boy, I know there's a lot of Bible verses on faith. Like I said, I'm out of my league on this. I'm still trying to. Bad way of putting it, Lord, forgive me, as I'm winging this off the seat of my butt. Because it's just a desire I've got. I've had truck accidents. My mother must have been praying. There's a minister down in uh, Louisiana, Jesse DePlantis. He's a ticket. Back in his heyday, he was in everything you can imagine that he shouldn't have been in. And yet his mother kept praying and having faith that he was going to straighten out. That's what I'm going to tell you right now. It's one of the power, most powerful things I've ever seen is a mother's faith. Don't get me wrong, faith can move up everything you want. Something new. 
And my, my opinion is something they're power, more powerless without a mother's faith. Do know all I know is without honestly without faith I wouldn't be here. I'd have been dead a long time ago. Faith is what keeps everybody going. I can't remember. I can't remember how it's worded. But something about faith and hope. If somebody can remember, I'll please let me know. I mean, here's an example. And these people don't even know this yet. So, as if she's watching, they're about to get a bomb dropped. There's a couple in Canada. I'm not getting all the details because I was asked not to, but I'm going to skate around it, I guess you'd call it. Holly and Lloyd. Lloyd's got some problems. Like I said, I was asked not to get into it. So I'm going to respect their wishes. But I'll tell you what, I've got faith that everything's going to turn out the way it's perfectly well. really do have that faith. You know, I'm going to tell you a little some personal story. Y'all know my mom died when she was actually, the year I actually was born in 20, 2001. 2001. Uh, what you didn't know and don't know is my mother's intestines blew up inside of her stomach. Yeah. I can, can get very nasty real quick when I think about this, because it still bothers me. She went to all three hospitals in Jacksonville, Florida, and got three different excuses. I mean, it was a comedy act of errors, honestly. Well, in comes her youngest son, who's at that time I was taller than anything with an attitude and a chip on my shoulder to boot. And she let up, we're both going and screaming, I don't even remember what time it was in the morning. Two, three in the morning. Now I was a, I had a kid with me because so I was driving trucks across country and I was, I drive a trainer. Well, he'd already graduated, the kid had graduated, we just decided to stay together as a, we're as a team, but. I, we got her down to the hospital, and I, I already knew what was going on, some of it at least. And I'll tell you what, I get, you don't want to know the words I told him. I do remember, and you do not want to know. Well, it's not the best grammar in the world. But long story short, six months in the hospital, died twice on the table, and one month ice, one month ice, even if I put on a Learjet. Said you got a week to live. Where do you want to die? She said, "I want to go home to Connecticut." Mm -hmm. You know, I had faith that she was she wasn't going to she was going to pass that week, and I was right. She blew that week out of them. I ain't going to try to do the math. She lived for six more years. But it was through faith. Ironically, that didn't kill her. Small cell lung cancer did.
You know, I keep reading about George Martin. I love George Martin. I'd love to sit down with her and Dave and have a coffee. I really would. She, she, and I've heard her say more once. She'll tell the guys in the audience, I'm not here for you guys. I'm here for your wives. If you want to be here, that's fine. That's why I like her. But I've been, she's been saying a lot lately about asking God for bold things. And having faith. And you know what? That faith will get you get you what you get get what you were after. But as long as it's in God's will, I'm God's plan. Not long enough I've got plans next year and I'm having faith that everything's gonna come to pass and got to have faith in everything we do. Like I said, I know there's a bunch of Bible verses. But I'm still, I started looking them up. Except some of the stuff I don't know I find on the internet. They're supposed to be churches and I, I don't know, I just got a weird feeling about them. I want to hear everybody's stories on faith. Because like I said in a community post, this is an, I want it to be an open, honest discussion. Because none of us are that smart. We can all learn from each other. And by learning something new, it's going to bring our faith up much higher or deeper, whichever way you want to call it. really well. I asked you guys the other day, where would you be without faith? Well, now let me ask you this, how do you apply it everyday life? What are you stepping on, a, stepping out in faith? In our, I, you know what I'm trying to say. Stepping out on faith. I know the, I know the one, one I'm trying to say, and I can't think of the right words. Because if you got something you're praying about and you're having faith for, then together we can pray, everybody can pray for it too. And build up every, to me, to me, my opinion is it'll build everybody's faith up. Maybe I'm naive. I don't think I am, but hey. But at the same time, with faith, we've also got to realize, hey, it's got to be in God's, part of God's will, His plan. B, it's going to be in His time. That's the kicker. As humans, we will have the faith to know when something, it doesn't come fast enough, oh, we can't do it. We just walk away from it. And I'm, Speaking from personal experience, I've done that one. A lot of things I'm so... At 55 years old, I'm slowly starting to wake up to. One thing that's been doing me for quite a while is, is just because you can say something doesn't mean you need to. And a lot of times I'll forget, I'll backtrack and forget, a, forget that he's laying it on me. Hey, let me slide a while and then, yep, mm hmm Like a load of bricks that hits me right back. But 
I have faith that I'm going to get be better for him. Yeah, I want to tell you something else about face. Oh, I'm being a little thing open tonight. I lost my very first girlfriend when I was in fifth grade. She died of leukemia. A year later, I lost my best friend. And I've got the newspaper article in the house on both of them. His name was Lewis. Her just Felicia. Louis just collected the mo most money for the record amount of money for the state of Connecticut that year for Danny Thomas. Since, since then, with those two past, I've always figured when I was, since I was young, that age, I was going to cancer was going to take me out. Not to mention, I've always like, been accident prone. Oof. But it's always had a Bit of hazelnut, not all right. He's going to the tribe, and you know what it did. But faith is what carried us, my family, through. Because I'll tell you right now, well, that day I, Kelly Buse, the doctor Kelly Buse called me and told me, you know, I swore a bit. That's. I was on my way up to save a lot to get some Mountain Dew. Went home, sat in the bed, told Lori. Ashley's got hearing worse than a dog, let me tell you. Got surprised she didn't hear me talking inside of Walmart. The next thing you know, she hurts. I'm holding my I got my head on Lauren's shoulder, bawling like a baby, and Ashley's holding me. They both were. But after that, Lauren looked at me and said, You're going to be all right. And because of her faith, it jump started kicked mine and jump started. And that's when I heard that. Voice in the pit of my stomach the next morning, sitting on that couch. And God will use some of the strangest.